Severino Oliveira says talked and did not present anything. Plays a work there, it could be a Russian work. I'm sorry, I try to get better. Hello everyone, Julian here. I'm back with another episode of the weekly guitar meeting at this guitar paradise, Zika's guitars. And these are not my words, okay? Every customer who has visited our shop has been saying this. I'm here at Guitar Paradise Sika's Guitars. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the last week's weekly guitar meeting. And let's have a look at some comments of last week's weekly guitar meeting. I will try to answer to some of those comments. Brent Browning has asked, are a lot of the spruce guitars lattice braced as opposed to fan braced in the cedar? Um, no, it doesn't depend to the wood, to the top. Also a cedar guitar can be lattice braced and a spruce guitar can also have a normal fan bracing. So the answer is no. Roberto Rodriguez Canal, uh, I think the canal is not his last name. I, I think he means the channel of Roberto Rodriguez. Anyway, Roberto says, very impressive guitars, especially the French and Italian luthiers. I wonder if sound is processed in some way. Sustain is hard to believe. Please let me know. Thank you for your comment, Roberto. We don't use any kind of effects like uh, reverb or compression or delay on the sound. But the microphones which we are using are so precise and sensitive that um, they hear the sound better than our ears. That's the reason why you have the feeling that the sustain of the guitars are very long. I mean, the most of these guitars have a very long sustain, but these microphones hear the sound better than our ears. John Salo says, please do away with the background music, otherwise I look forward to this. Let's stop the background music, okay? Next comment is from Fred McKenney. He's one of our regular supporters of this channel. Uh, what a wonderful collection of guitars today. Very difficult to choose a favorite. I think the Giglioli would be my first choice. I would enjoy visiting your shop sometime. Hopefully, Fred McKenney. Thank you for your comment. Severino Oliveira says, talked and did not present anything. Plays a work there, it could be a Russian work. I'm sorry, I try to get better. And now let's start with the guitars of this week because we have some very beautiful guitars. The first guitar of this week is made by Vicente Carillo. The Carillo family started building guitars in 1744. It's an amazing number. Vicente Carillo is the seventh generation of the Luthier uh, family and this guitar is a double top model from 2022. The model is called Gabriela II. This is the grand concert model of um, Vicente Carillo. We have a very beautiful spruce top and even more beautiful Madagascar rosewood back and sides. Let's play some melodies on it. What do you think? I think it's a very powerful guitar with a very beautiful tone. And the response of the guitar is very, very good and very fast. Thank you. 
I think this is a really great guitar. I have played a few guitars by Cario. Vicente Cario has uh, different models. This is in fact one of my favorite models because it's very powerful and you have beautiful colors, good response and uh, a very balanced sound. Yeah, let's move to the next guitar. This guitar is made by Max Zucker. He is a former professional classical guitarist who built guitars in his workshop in Vilnius. Vilnius is where? The capital of the Lithuania. This guitar is uh, from 2022 and it's a double top model. We have a cedar top and maple back and sides. And we have a lot of details on this guitar. We have an arm set, a sound port, a very interesting rosette. I think these are dogs. Yeah, why not? Yeah, let's see how it sounds. Well, what do you think? I mean, I try to not to praise every guitar, but they all sound really good, as you can hear. This guitar is very powerful with a big dynamic range and you can hear the typical cedar sound. And I forgot to mention that we have a elevated fingerboard. Last week I said elevated. This word doesn't exist. I mean, it's definitely worth to try this guitar if you have the opportunity to come to Zika's Guitars or somewhere else. This guitar is made by a young luthier from Italy. His name is Marco Ligioi. And Marco entered the world of music at the age of four. And later on, he also studied for one year physic at the University of uh, Turin. So it's also interesting to know this kind of background of a luthier. This guitar is from 2022 and it has a traditional fan bracing. It has a spruce top and Indian rosewood back and sides. What I personally love about this guitar is the rosette. It reminds me of the universe and sky and different planets. And since he studied physics for one year, I can imagine that it's his intention to show the Milky Way in the rosette of the guitar. But what do you prefer more? Do you prefer a traditional rosette, which are usually inspired by the old Persian carpets and Islamic architecture or do you prefer more rosettes with new ideas like this? I think this guitar has a very round and smooth sound, even with the spruce top.
I really like the sound of this guitar and it's also very balanced. Uh, it's so important to have a balanced guitar. It just more comfortable to play and you don't have to be worried about some tones which are suddenly louder than the other tones. This guitar is made by Friederike Linscheid. She is a very talented German guitar luthier who is building her guitars in the beautiful Berlin. And uh, she completed her apprenticeship in Mittenwald in Germany, in the instrument making school. And her guitars are amazing. And not only because I have also one of these guitars with a cedar top. They just sound incredible. You will hear that by yourself. We have a spruce top and Madagascar back and sides. The fingerboard looks from this angle like a traditional guitar, but if you turn the guitar, you see an elevated fingerboard. It's amazing. much air in this guitar and it's very powerful and the dynamic range of this guitar is also amazing you can play very soft and the tones are there and you can also get louder without uh, losing the quality of the sound and it has a shorter scale it has a 64 centimeter scale The last guitar of this week is made by a big name from Japan. Maybe you can guess who the luthier is? Masaru Kono. Masaru Kono was one of the most important figures and characters in the Japanese guitar making history. And his guitars have been played by some of the most famous guitarists like Oscar Gillia and Julian Bream. This guitar is from 1975 and it has the number 20, but it's actually the model number 20 and it comes from the price of the guitar because at that time the price of the guitar was 200,000 yen. So this is the number 20 and there is also another model with the number 30 because the price of that guitar was at that time 300,000 yen. We have a spruce top and Brazilian rosewood back and sides. Yeah, it looks very traditional, but it's very beautiful and a joy to play this guitar.
beautiful tone. The scale of this guitar is 660 millimeters, so um, a bit longer than other usual scales. And um, very clean sound. colors wow it's a really good guitar and uh, the price of this guitar is really let's say cheap because uh, yeah I don't know why but it sounds much more expensive we come to the end of the weekly guitar meeting at Zika's guitars for this week thanks for sticking around until the end of the video with me and don't forget to check the links down below in the, in the video description because you can find much more details, pictures and video examples to every instrument on our website. Enjoy your weekend, take care and see you next week.